John and Sarah had been married for fifteen years, weathering life's storms with unwavering commitment. They met in college, where their love blossomed amidst late-night study sessions and shared dreams of the future. Together, they built a home filled with warmth and laughter, raising two children who were the very heartbeat of their lives. But as time passed, familiarity bred a subtle complacency. John, a successful architect, often found himself caught in the whirlwind of deadlines and meetings. Sarah, a dedicated teacher, poured her heart into shaping young minds. Their once vibrant connection began to fray under the strain of daily routines and unspoken expectations. It was during one of John's late nights at the office that temptation came knocking in the form of a charming colleague, Emily. She exuded confidence and shared John's passion for architecture. Their professional discussions soon spilled over into casual lunches and afterwork drinks. At first, John dismissed the flutter in his chest as harmless admiration for a talented co-worker. Meanwhile, Sarah, sensing the subtle distance growing between them, threw herself deeper into her work and their children's lives. Yet, a tiny seed of doubt took root in her heart each time John stayed out late or seemed preoccupied. She confronted him gently, but John assured her there was nothing to worry about, blaming his exhaustion on work stress. As Emily's presence in John's life grew, so did his guilt. He found solace in her understanding smiles and easy laughter, something he felt was missing at home. Slowly, their conversations veered into personal confessions and shared aspirations, blurring the lines between friendship and something more. One fateful evening, John and Emily found themselves alone after a company event. In a moment of weakness, fueled by unresolved emotions and the allure of something new, they kissed. The guilt was immediate, but so was the intoxicating rush of forbidden desire. John pulled away, shocked and ashamed, but the damage was done. The days that followed were a whirlwind of guilt and confusion for John, who struggled to reconcile his actions with his love for Sarah and their children. Emily, sensing his turmoil, pressed for more, her own feelings now exposed and raw. Meanwhile, Sarah, though unaware of the affair, felt the growing chasm between her and John widen into an unbridgeable gulf. One evening, unable to bear the weight of his secret any longer, John confessed everything to Sarah. Her world shattered in an instant, the pain of betrayal cutting deeper than she ever imagined possible. Their children, innocent bystanders to their parents' unravelling marriage, felt the tension like a heavy cloud over their once happy home. Sarah moved out with the children, seeking solace with her family, while John wrestled with remorse and regret. Despite tearful apologies and promises of change, Sarah couldn't erase the image of John with another woman from her mind. Trust, once broken, seemed impossible to rebuild. Months turned into a year, and the divorce was finalized. John and Sarah navigated co-parenting with strained civility, their conversations reduced to practicalities about the children. The spark that once defined their marriage was now a distant memory, overshadowed by betrayal and heartache. Their children, though resilient, carried the scars of their parents' shattered relationship. They learned early the fragile nature of trust and the devastating consequences of temptation unchecked. In the end, John and Sarah both found fragments of happiness in separate lives, forever changed by the allure of temptation and the irreparable damage it wrought upon their once unbreakable bond.